Welcome to Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. I have some really cool designs for you. But before I, you know, show them to you and critique them, I want to say if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and more importantly, click the like button so that this video gets shared to more people and we bring more people in. Now, if you want to have your design featured on one of these episodes, then the link is in the description. All you have to do is sign up, send me a uh, image of your t-shirt, and you will make it onto the show. And now I wanna just quickly tell you, I have changed the way I'm doing this show just a bit because I looked at the, what everyone was saying, I looked at all your constructive criticism, and I feel doing it this way is going to be a lot better. Instead of just blindly taking people's designs, looking at them live on camera for the first time and reviewing them, I'm actually going through the designs now and categorizing them so that in every episode there are good designs and there are bad designs and that way you can see what actually makes a good design or a bad design. That is the plan, okay? So rather than potentially showing you 10 rubbish designs or 10 amazing designs, whatever happens, there are going to be some decent designs in every episode. So. Without further ado, let me record my screen. Before I get started with the first design, I just wanna tell you the three categories. The first one is what I think of the design. The second is what kind of targeting I would say, you know, the design probably needs. And the third one is what improvements I would make to the design. So let's start with the first design. I'm a mum and a veteran, nothing scares me. I actually really, really like this. This is, you know, you got the American flag here, the American flag colors. Um, the logo is super cool. It looks like it was made on Placeit, so, you know, nice work for using Placeit. Um, you've got, mm, well, there's a bit of improvements to do here, but I tell you what I do love. I love the the, the saying, I'm a mum and I'm a veteran, and a, or, and a veteran, nothing scares me. It's a brilliant, brilliant saying. So in terms of targeting, who do you target? Well, firstly, if you're doing paid advertising, you can target anyone on Facebook, you know, any mum who has an interest in veteran or who's also a veteran, there's your, there's your, you know, super, this is super targeted, so that's really, really good. Now, as well as that, you've also got, if let's say you want to do it on Redbubble, you know, or Merch by Amazon, you've got good tags that you can use this. You've got, because it's a very, very targeted shirt, only a specific person's gonna buy it, so in that sense, it's really, really good. Now, improvements, there are some improvements, I would say. Firstly, the design has got to be moved up. People, listen when I say this, the design has got to be moved up. I see some designs every single day where the design is down here. You don't want a design down here. You want a design up here, okay? I don't know why people put their design down here. Now, this could be because it's just the mock-up and the actual design is higher up, but this is what people think they're buying, so put it in the right place, right? So, the design has to be moved up. The top logo thing, thingamajig, that's really cool, leave that, it's really, really cool, just move it up. I'm a mum and a veteran, well firstly, I'm a mum and a veteran, it should be the same size font, it looks even like, it could be a different font, it should be the same font, I don't actually like the font, I would change it a bit. Also, the spacing should be the same, so where mum ends, veteran should end, and where I'm, you know, begins, and should begin, and then nothing scares me, it's cool that it's a bit smaller, um, but maybe have that in brackets, or whatever, or you don't even have it in brackets, but. It's just, it's gotta be a bit better. They have all the fonts, I've got to, it's got to match. Let's move on to the next design. I do yoga to relieve stress. And by the way, I know I'm using my phone, not the iPad here in this episode, and that's because my iPad is, I left it in Manchester. But don't worry, I'm getting that back soon. Anyway, I do yoga to relieve stress. Just kidding, I drink wine in yoga pants. I love the saying. The saying is brilliant, and in fact, I can imagine people I know actually wearing this. I think it's really, really, really good. I love the I do yoga to relieve stress bit. The colors, the, the, the cut out, you know, newspaper clipping font. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, I love it. Um, in terms of who you're targeting here, you're targeting yoga people, right? Surely you're targeting yoga people because that's, who, that, that's I mean, it is targeted, I like this. You guys are doing targeted, and guess what? This is higher up, it starts higher up. This is a good design, really good. And again, you're targeting yoga people, really, really simple, I don't need to get into that so much. There's tons of keywords around yoga, tons and tons, uh, stress release, all that kind of stuff, you know. Just use all those keywords, and if you're advertising with Facebook advertising, <laughs> then just 
target people who like yoga. Now, where I would improve. So this is a big thing. The just kidding, I drink wine and yoga pants. What this kind of feels like is that you spend ages and ages on the I do yoga to relieve stress, right? You really put a lot of effort into that. And then you're like, Meh, I got bored. And then you just typed out, just kidding, I drink wine and yoga pants. Like, where's the super cool font where it's just plain aerial looking white text? You know, it's just not good. You've got this whole cool graphic here, right? And then you just got, Meh. like, no, you, you want to, you want to really improve the just kidding, I drink wine and yoga pants text area. Right, moving on. Oh, these are some really good designs. Gosh, I hope I do some bad designs so you can see the difference. Uh, yes, I've got some bad designs coming, don't you worry. Right, phone down, weights up. I like that. That is cool. That is really, really cool. So, you know, you've got your font perfect. It's all, it's all matching. I like the up is slightly bigger. I like the phone down, you know, with the downwards, with the downward. Um, I like, you know, the weight up with the upward. And you know, the up is kind of like connecting the U and the P. It's just brilliant, this is good. And you're targeting people who, in the gym, right? You're targeting avid gym goers. So that is brilliant. Whoever did this, love it, really love it. Tells you improvements. Honestly, I can't think of improvements. The only thing I might suggest is the weight is being held like this, right? I would flip it so it's being held like that because a lot more people relate to weights being lifted like that rather than weights being lifted like that. Um, so that's the only thing I can think of because this is just genuinely a really, really good design. Right, moving on. Mm. Elon Mask. Um, okay. Um... Right, who you're targeting, well, what do I think? What do I like? I don't know. Who are you targeting? I don't know. Improvements, this is just blatant copyright infringement. You have literally got the Tesla logo there and the Tesla font. But more importantly, the Tesla logo. Come on, what, what are you thinking? You're not actually going to sell this, right? This is, no. No, no, so much copyright infringement. It's also, what is the design, Elon Musk? What is this? What does that mean? No. Moving on. I must go, my gym needs me. Okay, well, firstly, the dog, again, it looks like a placed image, so that's pretty cool. Move it up a bit. Um, the dog bit is very, very cool. I really like that. I really, really do like that. I must go, my gym needs me. It's, it's a pretty decent phrase. I mean, I've seen it before, so I don't know how you know original yours is. So um, I'm not so sure about that, but it's a good phrase. Who you're targeting? Well, you're targeting people who go to the gym and you're probably targeting people who really passionately go to the gym. So bodybuilder type people, especially if they've got this insanely ripped dog on it. Now, in terms of improvements, the I must go is one font, which is a super weird font. And then you've got My Gym Needs Me is another weird font. And it's also not centered, it's not aligned. You, you want it to be like centered al aligned, right? That's first thing. You want the fonts to match, that's the second thing. You need to change all the fonts, that's the third thing. Because this is about, you know, like, oh, like I go to the gym, I'm hard kind of thing. You want a fat font, right? You want a big fat font to go with the big muscles. Right, and what you probably want to do is you want to have some of the words hidden behind the dog. So I must go, my gym needs me, right? In big fat letters, a bit of it being covered by the dog. And then, you know, you've got yourself a design there. But you've really got to change this text, like just terrible. Right, moving on. Master of the guitar. 11 minutes in, I've done six t-shirts. I'm going to try and do a couple more because I want this video to be a bit longer. Master of the guitar. Um, I do like this actually. I really, really do like this. I would make guitar slightly smaller so it finishes the circle and maybe cut away at the bottom of the guitar. But anyway, let's talk about what I like. I like the colors, the colors is great. I like the graphic, it's great as well with a little pick. Love that, I love where it says master of the around, you know, the circle, really, really cool. You're targeting people, you know, who are into guitar. This looks like, oh, it is an acoustic guitar. Um, so most likely acoustic guitar. And this also looks like not just an acoustic guitar, but a classical acoustic guitar. Um, but again, I could be wrong here. Yeah, it might not be a classical acoustic guitar, but regardless, you're t targeting people who play the guitar, right? 
specifically acoustic. Now, in terms of improvements, like I said before, the guitar, finish the circle off with the guitar, so have it cut like there, right? So the, 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 the G-U-I-T-A-R is kind of like a semicircle, and it completes the circle. That could be quite cool. I like that idea. Right, moving on. Quarantined with my dog. Okay, okay. I don't know why the dog has his thumbs up, but whatever. Um, the phrase is decent. Quarantine with my dog, not a bad phrase. If you've got a dog and you live alone and you quarantine with them, then yes, that's fine. The only thing is, you know, your this trend is kind of dying out now. Not only is it incredibly oversaturated, it's also pretty much dead now. Um, so I don't understand why people are still trying to grab on to the whole COVID-19 trend situation to try and sell t-shirts. It's just let it go, right? Move on, do designs that aren't related to COVID-19 already. But anyways, in terms of a design, it's a pretty decent design. You're targeting people who love dogs, I guess. Um, maybe target people, oh, this could be cool. Target people who are away or recently just come back from holiday because they're gonna be quarantining. All right, in terms of the image where I'd improve, I like the font quarantined with my dog. I do like that font. I don't like that the dog has this weird blue mask. I get why he has a mask, because you're in quarantine, and you know you don't need a mask when you're in quarantine. There's no one around you. That's besides the point. It's just the mask looks like it's been clip art placed there, and it looks a bit weird. I also don't know why the dog has his thumbs up. I would completely remove, on in Photoshop, the thumbs up bit, and duplicate, du duplicate the leg, and put the leg on the other side as well. Just you know, just so you can see a bit of the leg. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's a it's a pretty decent design. Would I sell it? No. Do I think it will sell? Maybe, potentially. Right, next design. California surfing ways for life. I like this. I really like this. This is something I would see in a shop in California, like on Venice Beach. Um, shift the whole design up a tiny bit. That's what I'll ask. Um, who are you targeting? This is this is it. This is hard to target. You could target people who recently came back from California. You could target people who live in California. You could target people who want to live in California. Um, I the targeting is going to be quite hard because it's such a broad audience. So you're going to struggle a bit there. In terms of the actual design, I think it's a brilliant design. Improvements, I would say maybe make surfing ways for life just a tad bigger, um, and maybe move them up a tiny bit so they're kind of like in between the palm trees a bit more. But other than that, I think it's quite a solid design. I really, really like this. This has been a pretty good episode of designs. I need to think of a good title because this is a great episode of designs. Right. Oh, could not connect to the internet. Can't download that. Right. Um, last design. Take a break. Oh, I like this font. Okay, so this is more of a pillow. Right? Oh, this is a pillow or a cushion. Less of a t-shirt, which is the first time I've seen this on this show. But I like the font. This is a very Beatles kind of hippie kind of font. And I do really, really like the font. Um, I like the saying as well, take a break. In terms of targeting, targeting is going to be really hard. Because I don't know who you're targeting here. Right? Are you targeting people who work a lot? Like, I don't know who you're targeting. But the actual design is really, really cool. And in terms of improvements, I can't really think of improvements. Unless... I would say, you know, maybe try and make it a bit more targeted, but actually improvements. This is a really, really cool design. I really like it. Right. That is going to be it for this episode. Next week, I'm going to do another. Well, how many designs did I do today? I did. I don't know how many designs I did today. I did 10, I think, or nine. But either way, that's what I did for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. It went on a bit longer than usual. And I hope you like this new way I'm doing it. Let me know in the comments if you prefer this way I'm doing it, where I'm actually looking at people's designs and deciding if I want to put them in an episode. And I've got to be honest with you, some designs are just truly, truly, truly terrible. I'm not even going to bother putting in an episode because it's just not even worth it. Um, but yeah, look, I hope you like this. And... Um, Hopefully you'll tune in for next week's episode. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in oh, Sunday's video.